What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here. Hang on, gotta turn this down. I always forget to do this. I like, have the episode pulled up, and then it starts with the episode at full volume blasting in my ears. And it's hard to hear myself talk when all I can hear is the, <clears throat> oh, the music. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a little burpy. Oh, I just ate lunch, a really huge lunch. I'm dying, guys. I ate too much. Ugh. Ugh. So full. Wow, I've never felt this full in my life. Ugh. Ugh. Anyways, welcome to the episode commentary of Kirby vs. Pops. Kind of fitting considering Kirby eats a lot as well. Um, but people did not like this episode as much as I thought they would for some reason. I thought this was one of my better episodes, so it was weird. I mean, yeah, I get Kirby's analysis is kind of meh. Because it, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to explain. With Kirby, everything just is how it is. There's no, like, deeper explanation to it. You just say it, and then it's there. But he also has a lot, so it's hard to cover a lot of things with little detail. Like, um, let's say Scout, for example. Like, Scout has the Bonk Atomic Punch. It makes him so fast that everything else in the game misses, but it only lasts for 8 seconds, and he can't attack while doing it. You know, just all this descriptive stuff he can say about Bonk. But with Kirby, it's just like, Fire Kirby! He, he has fire. Yeah. That's... That's pretty much the example. That's all you can say about Kirby. There's no deeper explanation to his stuff. They just are what they are, and there's so much of it, so you kind of just zip past everything with some deeper, without some deeper form of explanation. It happened with King Dedede, too. Everything in Kirby is just so simplistic. And I know Kirby has a lot more feats than what I showed, but... Pops' analysis was short, and I had to shrink down Kirby's to be as equally short. Like, I mean, I still included all the stuff in my research, I just didn't bring it up in the episode. <clears throat> because of time restraints. I, need to, I needed to make it equal like Pops, because, I mean, if one character's analysis is, like, longer than the other, then people will be like, mm, you know, why would he spend more time on this guy than that guy? So, yeah, it just... Things just didn't match up right, time-wise with how much Kirby has and how little you need to explain it. And then with how little Pop has in general. Pops has in general, not Pop. His name's Pops with a S. <clears throat> but yeah, ever since the regular show finale, I knew I was going to do Kirby versus Pops because I was like, huh, they're both round and they're both happy, but they're both also horrifying monsters of destruction and blood and death. And it's horrifying. <coughs> yeah, Hammer Kirby. Sword Kirby. What can you say about them? Yeah, that was the most I could say. His sword can grow really big. And then that was it. There's nothing you could say about these guys. And if you do spend the, and if you do spend a lot of time saying one thing, then you'll run out of time for all the other things, because they have a lot of things. So many things, so little time, basically. So yeah, this, this episode was pretty rough in Kirby's department, especially since he lost. Um, I'm just surprised people didn't like it as much as they did, because I figured they'd be like, Oh yeah, Pops, yeah, because he's like so new to the versus debate scene because of his just recent upgrades and whatnot, and his whole thing. So I figured people would root for the underdog Pops. But nope, I guess that technically still makes him the underdog, but <laughs> you know what I mean. <clears throat> I just found it surprising. Um, next up is Ermac versus Tatsumaki, which is going to be a really fun episode. I love telekinesis. It's probably one of my favorite superpowers. It's like so cheap. It's alongside with, um, oh, what was the power I'm thinking of? Uh, just like reality warping is one of the most broken... Um, powers ever. Because <laughs> with reality warping, you can literally just do anything. And then with telekinesis, you can control your opponents and force them to do anything. So I think it's pretty fun to see, like, put two telekinetics together and watch them clash to see who can beat whom in the telekinesis area. And people were asking me, why not Tatsumaki versus Silver? Why not Tatsumaki versus Mob? It's because... <clears throat> Um, Tatsumaki has an ability called Psychic Binding, which is able to suppress the ESP abilities of other users. 
So she basically shuts down other people's psychic abilities. And since Ermac <clears throat> is more magic with his telekinesis than psychic, since he's made up of a bunch of souls and doesn't have one set specific mind, so it's magic instead of psychic, um, Tatsumaki wouldn't be able to suppress his abilities, so it would still be fair. But with Silver and Mob, Tatsumaki could suppress them completely, rendering both Silver and Mob completely useless and making it an unfair fight. So, Ermac to me just seemed like the most fair choice for Tatsumaki. Um, <clears throat> but funnily enough, um, next episode, af I mean, well, next episode's Ermac vs. Tatsumaki, but the episode after that was supposed to be Shantae vs. Shovel Knight. I had my whole schedule planned out. But then Animation Rewind had to go and make his episode on it. So whoop de doo there it goes. Um, but I have a backup plan, don't worry. No, nothing's getting delayed. I'm just switching some episodes around, canceling Shantae vs. Shovel Knight, because he already did it, and he pretty much came up with the same opinion as I had. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, but let's just say that it involves a Street Fighter character. Ooh. So that's going to be fun. Hey, we're going to have Mortal Kombat and then Street Fighter two episodes in a row. <gasps> and after that, I have another Tekken character. F three, three of the fighting game champs, three in a row episodes. That's going to be cool. It's not a Street Fighter versus Tekken episode. It's just a Street Fighter episode with versus another character and then a Tekken episode versus a character. So, next Mortal Kombat, after that Street Fighter, and then after after that, Tekken. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. I've revealed too much. I should shut up now. Hope you enjoyed this episode of commentary. This episode is rough. Sorry you guys didn't like it as I hoped you would. Um, hopefully next episode will be better and you'll like it a lot more. I'll work harder to make these better and deeper and more in-depth. Um, so, see you next time. Leopold the Brave out. How do I click? Click, 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 turn off.